How's it going? You got Nasi Pizwani here with a brand new episode of Sludge Underground Podcast. I want to firstly thank everyone who listened, or if you did listen to my episode with Money Badu last week, thank you so much. I highly appreciate it. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go back and you listen to that. It was a gem. And obviously this week I got another special guest in Mini Mklongo, who used to go by Mini Tusi. And, uh, you know, before the show started, she said that she used to be famous. She's no longer famous. Now I want to find out where that actually stems from. When you say fame, it sounds like you're talking about a celebrity. Mm. I was just popular in Durban because of my history, like what we used to do and all of that. So, you know. That is actually a point you didn't touch on in the initial interview. So I think considering this is a follow up, this would be the perfect opportunity for us to actually jump into that. So what is it that you guys actually did that got you popular? So in university, I had um, two friends or I had more than two friends in university, but with the two friends that I had, um, we decided to start a group called Uni Groove. Um, we wanted to teach people how to groove. So we recorded everything that we did. At least we tried because most of the time it would get sloshed and our recordings are everywhere. Like people are so disappointed when we stopped doing it, JV, because it was just so interesting because we, we'd sit and have like an interview session where we actually look back at what we did and then start explaining and all the shenanigans that had happened that night and what happened when we were leaving and 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 so it was really cool it was really cool like i lived my best life in university guys if i could go back i would but then i don't think i'm there right now though like i'm so over it yo that sounds really hectic actually are you still in touch with you know a couple of the mates that you're with uh in uni groove like i'm in touch with one the other one i'm not in touch with like uh, you, you you grow apart guys your interests are not the same anymore and you sometimes see people for who they really are and you see that you don't want um, that type of person around you in your life or they're not contributing in any way positive in your life. So it's best you just let go because you can't have just have people lingering in your life and not serving any purpose. Probably they've served their purpose and it's time to move on to greater things. And that's exactly where I am with my life. It's actually crazy how life sort of works out because one moment you could be having the time of your lives and the next you complete strangers. It's quite wild actually. I mean, it happens. As humans, we need to learn to let go. Like you don't mm. even need to fight, guys. True. I think there's something wrong with the person that you ask, we'll see how, what happened to you and this person? And you're like, we had an argument or we, we fought and, and, then you need to start having like introspection. What is wrong with me? Like, why am I fighting with everyone around me? Life yeah. happens. We don't take interest in the same things. We grow. People find love. Yeah, yeah Bonji, there's a lot. People have kids. There's a lot. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of things that can happen, you know, and it kind of makes sense as to why people would end up drifting apart. Now, tell me about your second uh, baby. Obviously, Milani Meals, the business that you've got going. And what sort of made you, you know, decide to start this business that caters to babies? I I gave birth right yeah and i didn't want to feed my child um shelf life foods because they lost so long on the shelf like they lost two years or whatever i didn't want to feed my child that and for people that actually really really know me they know i'm a gym fanatic and i just like keeping fit and healthy so i wanted my i wanted the same for my child i started cooking for her like making meals at home um i I, i've always wanted a business when i was still in high school i wanted like when people ask me what do you want to be i'd be like i want to be a businesswoman you know and i did business studies and then um, in, in varsity, I did marketing because I wanted to be able to market my own business. Yeah, well, yeah. 80% of companies are made because of marketing. People know it because of marketing. So I've always wanted to be a businesswoman. And also another thing is that unemployment rates in South Africa is ridiculous. Mm. So I just didn't want to be one of those people when a person asks, Uwuti, um, so what are you doing with your life? I'm unemployed. I don't like that word. Like it shouldn't exist in my vocab. I'd rather be like, I'm an entrepreneur. Even though I'm struggling, I'm shizillering, you know, yeah. which I'm really not. But at least you have, you can be like, hey, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm starting somewhere, you know? Yeah. And in the next 10 to 15 years, I'm not going to be in the same place that I am currently, you know? Yeah. Um, that's how Imilani Meals was 
birthed. Uh, but my main reason why I started making baby food was because obviously of my baby. Hence why it's called the Milani Meals. My child's name is Milan. And plus it means grow. You've done a really beautiful job getting that together. It looks very clean. It looks very professional. You really look like, you know, you're part of the big hitters within the uh, baby food making, you know, industry. But um, it's actually, you know, what makes it even crazier is that you're doing this on your own. You don't have people that are working under you. I can imagine it being very hectic considering that... Um, I really don't think that it's the same as sort of just making food for Milani. The first day I did it, my CP, I was like, I'm ready to quit. Yeah. Like, I was so tired. I was I was even dizzy because I hadn't eaten the whole day. I, yeah. I was on my feet from 9 a.m. up until 5 a.m. No break whatsoever. I didn't even drink water. Like, it was just so hectic. I was like, you know what? I'm not carrying on with this thing. And then I sat down later on. I'm like, yo. I've spent so much investing in this business. Yeah, yeah. You even said that your partner stepped in and and he was... And he, he was, was like, hey, dude, you need to remember why you started in the first place. Mm. And you need to remember how much you've spent doing this and time you've spent doing this. You stopping now, you'd be a failure. I was like, what? Your words of wisdom right there. And considering the fact that, you know, the packaging, the labeling, everything, you know, that you've got going with this business looks very professional. Um, as I said, I compared it with, you know, the big hitters in the in the industry. Uh, who would you say the target market is, you know, for Milani Meals? My target is the working class from middle class to upper class. Like I want people that are health conscious, you know, a person that doesn't mind spending for the child's health. That's the person I'm targeting with the Milani Meals. And just in case you didn't get the memo, I'm chatting to brand developer, baby chef, and founder of Milani Meals, and also mother to the great Milani, Mina Shongo. How did that transition go for you uh, from being a groovist to being a mother? You know, the thing is, before I became a mother, I was already starting to settle down because I had found the person I really love. And I just wanted to spend more time with this person, getting to know them and actually develop a friendship. So really, I was already like starting to settle down, not grooving as much. I'd leave group at like 12 and my friends would be like, ah, so yeah, Bora, you know, and I'd be like, hey guys, I gotta be with my man, you know. But the transition from being that to being a mother, I won't lie, it gets hectic. Yeah. It gets hectic, guys. My mom, yo, guys, my mom helped me. The first month was tough because my mom was still working at that time. So um, I gave birth at the end of no- the last day of November. So she was going to retire on the 31st of December. So the first month for me was really tough. And we couldn't get anyone like my aunts to come to my house and chill with me and whatnot. Um, but it gets easier. It gets easier. As the child grows, it gets easier. But now that child tells me no. <laughs> Everything. No. Yeah. No. Get out. <laughs> you sure she doesn't get that from you? She has my personality. She is feisty. My mom did a good job because, wow, could you ever put up with the feisty child? Yo, my child is feisty, guys. Hey, looking at the fact that, you know, you're going through motherhood right now and it's really an enjoyable process. You've grown as a mother. Um, Once this period is over, because obviously children are going to grow up eventually and she's not going to be depending on you as much as she depends on you right now. Could we see, you know, mini Mushongo return, you know, to, to media, radio, and everything that you did, you know, in the past? I don't think it's over. I'm at a point in life where I just want to speak the truth and and speak it freely. But now with the media and the people that consume the podcast that we do and, you know, they're just not ready for the truth. You know, when, when you, you speak the truth, you are a, a person who's jealous. You are a person that's just um, negative. There's nothing good that is said about you. I want to I wanna do it when people actually respect other people's opinions and people are educated in terms of don't, because now when we get into debates or arguments or whatever, a person will now go for you as, as the person instead yeah. of coming for the topic, you know? And they're really not ready for reality and they don't want to hear the truth. So for now, I'm good where I am. I want to do like podcasts and do nice things and go back to media but the thing is it's it's just not nice anymore people are very they will fight you over the phone and bully you over the phone because i get really angry guys like my heart starts beating so fast and, I, and i'm like home but now i must start and i can't talk 
you know so for me it's frustrating i don't like that i don't like feeling like that so i don't want to enter that space for my own sanity well, that's actually hectic that is coming from you as well because obviously you're one of the people that i admire when it comes to you know such things and i'm a, I'm a huge admirer of the work that you do and i'm sure i'm not the only one who thinks so so would you say um you know what about those people that actually enjoy your craft would you say it's more like a, it's not on them but more like a you thing what's the situation there it's more for me because i know how angry i get when someone says like something that really annoys me you know mm. i don't want to be that person who, who's fighting people now and trying to prove a point i just need to start working on myself first and then when i've done that i can you know be like okay yeah. Now I'm ready for people. If they come throw stones at me, I'm able to like defend myself in terms of just being quiet. Sometimes silence is bliss. It's actually funny that you mentioned silence is bliss because it reminds me of a tweet by your significant other on Twitter where he said something along the lines of, I don't understand why people find silence awkward uh, because sometimes you just need to be quiet. And it, it really seems like it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> So we are a match made in heaven, shame. I won't even lie. But you know, it's funny that he tweets that because you know, I talk with him. I talk. <laughs> so that was just a major sub director at you. He's probably subtweeting me, guys. Like, Please. men don't like us that much. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's a joke. But just looking at Milani Meals again, you know, what sort of ingredients are you using in there? And what would you say makes uh, Milani Meals, you know, unique and different from what everyone else is doing? What makes it different is that. I make it with my hands and I make it with fresh produce. If you had to ask me about Emilani meals from start to, to finish, there's nothing that I wouldn't be able to explain to you from color to logo to slogan to everything. Like I'll tell you why I, I chose those specific things. So it's not because I wanted to make money and also just I, Guys, I care about children. Babies, I love babies. I love babies. I was telling my partner the other time that, you know what? I actually want to be the next Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> because I love babies so much, but I want to make it different. Because Oprah focuses more on girls, you know? I want to focus on babies because I just believe babies are the future. So that's why I went into the baby industry and not anything else especially food because food goes in the stomach you know a, a baby can't survive if they're hungry that is why i, I started in milani meals i put a lot of thought in milani meals guys that's why i would want people to invest in it yeah. you know I would, I would appreciate people's support because it is something that i really thought of i started in milani meals when milani was around like seven months like thinking about it yeah and then it took me like a year and a half to actually implement it because i did a whole lot of research i went to dietitians i went to food testing um i spoke to doctors pediatricians and 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 like it took a lot of work and effort and i did it because i wanted to but also I did it because I wanted to do something for babies, you know. And I'm really hoping Muti one day I'll be able to, to actually help the less fortunate. Because all I imagine my target market is the middle class and upper class, as I said. But in the near future, I really wanted to be a, 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 a company that actually gives back to the community i really like what you're doing many because it obviously seems to also be a healthier alternative to what you know the mainstream sort of companies are offering um ingredients now obviously what actually goes into it like what would go into a batch of milani meals in terms of now the recipe or maybe not specifically a recipe but the actual ingredients that go in there carrots butternuts um broccoli apples like it's simple things it's simple things but it's just so hard to make any mom will tell you that makes their own um food for their babies it's, it's a lot of work so me having milani meals makes their life easier because you know you get a, a mixture of those veggies in one bowl at home you're lazy as a mother you want to make butternut only you know because it's a lot of work so yeah, those are the ingredients and uh, like how I mix the ingredients, I mix it in a way of, I want it to be easier for the child to eat. So it mustn't be too um, sweet or no taste because some fruits like cauliflower don't have, I mean, veggies like cauliflower don't have 
taste, you know. So yeah. I mix it in a way of the baby needs to actually enjoy this food. Yeah, but like when you guys are going to a restaurant, you know, you take Milani meals with you. I actually want it in restaurants. I'm planning on having it in restaurants. I'll, nice. I will start talking to restaurants with um, kids areas like to play and stuff like Bonaterra. So, Jay. But how, how, do you, how do you sweeten it? Like, how do you make sure that it tastes sweet? Because um, I obviously don't think you'd use sugar because that would be considered unhealthy. So what is it that you use to sweeten it? Carrots are sweet. Apples are sweet, you know, yeah. so you mix with the like butternut is sweet, sweet potato is sweet. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the sweetness oh. in the, the food. Yeah, okay. there's no okay. salt, no sugar. It's not processed. I use low temperatures to make the food. Yeah. So we retain all the, the nutrients in the food. Um, so, yeah, it's really healthy, guys. My food is yeah. healthy. So we know that you're targeting the upper class and the middle class. So let's look at prices. How much does it cost? Are there different ranges? Let us in on that. Um, so it ranges from 17 rand to 20. There's a 22 rand currently, but the, tra- um, the prices will change. That doesn't sound expensive at all. Are you not maybe underselling yourself a bit? I don't want to. I, I don't want to like make it too expensive because I, I was like starting it. But now because I have like, I have buyers and everything. So, you know, I'm allowed to actually increase the price, especially because of the inflation. So yeah, no, the prices will definitely go up. So it really, and it's because if it has meat, obviously it's going to be more expensive yeah. compared to the ones that don't have meat. And then you get something like a sweet potato and lentils. Mm-hmm. That's also expensive because my lentils are expensive and they are protein. Yeah. So that's why it's as expensive as the meat. Yeah, you and your partner also have invuna, right? So do you guys grow your own vegetables as well? Or no, we 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 didn't grow. We bought. Oh, okay, um, but in the near future, guys, I'm going to be growing these veggies. That's the nice thing about this whole thing because yeah. we have something going on in the family. So in the near future, I'll be actually growing these veggies and making them from just family nice. garden to actually making milani meals so yeah yeah and you're obviously doing a really good job getting you know the, the business out there considering that you have you know clients and people that are already buying so how do you go about your marketing tell me a bit more about that the nice thing is that i've done everything that i had to do for your marketing i've done advertisements on social and it's reached the people but now the thing is people are very skeptical of buying online especially a product that is for their babies and for consumption of their babies i mean that's scary even i wouldn't be like okay i just want to try this out for my baby because you never know if the baby's going to be sick trust me guys the baby's not going to be sick the food is tested we went to the laboratories and tested the food so my marketing i did it myself and yeah yeah social media can be very difficult and very time consuming do you have someone who's assisting you with milani meals like at all now looking at the business as a whole i have my man he helps me a lot Mm. with everything like he's my go-to guy he's my psychologist he's my um, assistant when it comes to graphics he's my everything like he's just my everything all in one hey shout out to the mandem one time uh obviously with the crunch talks um where would someone be able to get milani meals right now um, it's online www.milanimeals.store on Instagram Milani Meals DBN and on Facebook Milani Meals DBN. Oh, great. And in terms of delivery, is it worldwide? Is it nationwide? What's the situation? Not nationwide, it's German worldwide. wide. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's German wide, it's it's in mini wide, it's in okay. wide. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so since it's based in Durban for now, if I'm in Johannesburg listening to this, what do I need to do? Yo, you need to wait for Milani Meals to grow and hope that other people will buy so we are able to grow. That's the yeah. only way it's going to get to Johannesburg. <laughs> but I really, I really hope that soon I'll be able to provide um, to places like Johannesburg, Cape Town. I want it in stores. I really want yeah. it in stores. So you want to try make that happen can i eat milani meals as a grown-ass man oh yes you can <laughs> yes you can i always advise like parents to Uti, before giving your baby something you need to taste it yeah. so that's what most of my buyers do anyway like their first 
taste it, taste. and then give it to their babies. Hey, that is very fantastic, Minia. I appreciate the time that we spent today, and I really hope that you know anyone that's tuning in really does, you know, go out and support. Um, I don't want to keep you any longer because I know you're a mother and you're very busy. So just give us your personal handles one more time, as well as the Milani Meals uh, handles. Um, so I am Mini M I W N I E Mlongo underscore, and then Milani Meals is Milani Meals D B N on instagram and facebook yeah and also be sure to check them out you know on their websites at www.melanimeals.store now many if someone knows you from your radio days and they want to maybe book you to be a part of some radio station of some sorts is that still on the table i would love that i still want to get on radio i remember the last time we had the interview i was like um i really would like to work at metro fm yes and I still want to do that. Like, yeah. I really wanted. The thing is, Nasipi, it's better on like radio than podcasts. Yo, guys, you get bashed. So, yeah, yeah I would definitely, actually, I would love to be on radio. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, I, for one, really wish you all the best when it comes to that there. I really hope someone out there, you know, um, would be able to open up doors. But I feel like you could walk into any radio station and kill it. So, props to you. Are there any last words before we close out? I really appreciate you calling me back for, for the interview. Like, uh-huh. dude, you've, ha- you've had our back for a very long time. Anytime, and I super appreciate it. Hey, Mini, I appreciate you coming back to the show. And I also want to thank you, the listener, for clicking that link and tuning into this episode. Obviously, for all things Sludge Underground, we've got our website, www.sludgeunderground.com. And for everything else on our social media, it's at Sludge underground on instagram and facebook and obviously on twitter it's at sludge 31 as for myself it's at zwane 31 on all social media platforms and be sure to leave us a review on apple Podcasts and a rating on spotify if you enjoy the episode it's one of the many ways that you can help you know the podcast grow considering that the wholesome content you're getting is absolutely free we're going to be closing out of the track by jazzy june mini's uh, significant other called pink roses part of the pink roses ep one of the best eps to come out of durban in a while until next time it's bye for now Oh yeah. It's the stress about you. I made mistakes, but I'm hoping you can stay. Cause I know that I'm a mess without you. Ain't nothing that you can't do. You self made when it gets yourself paid. Really different from the restaurant. I swear there is no other. Always been in my corner. I took it to my mama, even though you didn't want her. I must admit, I feel lucky to have you. Every time you let me hit it, feel like I just met you. Uh I know you love it when I wrap my arms around your waist. Ain't nothing better than putting a smile on your face. I hope that I ain't never made you feel out of place. Again, I know I won't do anymore. I change my ways. I got responsibilities. I want to feed my fam. I can't be making no enemies. This is who I am. I can never pretend to be. Anything I'm not, that shit can fuck up my energies. Fuck up my energies. Pull up to the spot. Name by damn. She go where I go. I swear you can't break the synergy. While I'm moving, I ain't king got some. I really hope I love her last longer than memories. Yeah. I'm sure you can think of all the things you want Now try if you're down I've got time I don't want to do this life thing yeah, without you Without you See, girl, I'm high, but now I can't believe what I've become I thought I knew it all Bang, I said, no, we I know I made some promises Empty just like a drum But since I told you more See, I'm getting it for what's on Yeah so you can never be replaced We on the same page That means we never gonna part ways You help me make it out You my life through the dark days I move through all my problems And that's I think I don't get faced Yeah I never doubt that I'm in the right place Told me how to take care of myself Take it first aid Cause never really want to celebrate on my birthday I be through the worst I swear I know how the dirt tastes yeah. I swear I know how the dirt tastes yeah. Broke open so many closed gates I just take my time, I know life ain't no race But I know you the one, I just need you in my space So if you're down, I got time I'm sure you can think of all the things you want Now try, if you're down, I got time I don't wanna do this life thing without you, without you